Today, we're gonna to discuss carpets, carpet fibers, factors that make up a carpet's durability, and a few other things to start with. We're not gonna be able to cover everything today, but we are gonna do our best to at least give you a good idea of what's the best carpet for you. Where is the carpet gonna be used in your home? What type of pets do you have in your home and even children? I raised six. I know they're a huge factor in how carpet lasts and its durabilities. So before we get into the different types of fibers, let's talk about some of the different terminology. Things that you're gonna hear when you go and talk to a salesperson. Face, weight, density, pile height, all of those have a factor in how well your carpet's going to perform in your home. Density is a calculation based upon the face weight and the carpet pile height. So face weight, some salespeople will throw that around a bit, but face weight is the amount of fiber per ounces in a square yard. So you might be thinking to yourself when you're at a sales floor and someone says it has an 80 ounce face weight, and you might think, wow, that's gotta be the most durable carpet out there. Face weight and durability do not necessarily mean the same thing. So a carpet, that might have a 35 ounce face weight and a lower pile height has a good density would be a better carpet and last longer and resist matting for a longer period of time. So a higher pile height doesn't necessarily mean, again, that it's a bad carpet or it's not gonna be as durable, but it might play into your comfort level. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about face weight. Another factor that helps out in durability is called fiber twist. And so carpets have a twist rating on them. It's not on the back of the carpet. The manufacturer could tell us if we asked them, but a carpet that has a low twist rate isn't gonna last as long. It's going to frizz out on the top sooner. And a carpet that has fibers with a high twist rate, let's say five twists in an inch, that's gonna have a stronger durability, last longer, resist matting down, and is a factor, but not one that we as salespeople talk about a lot, but it is important. Let's talk about the different carpet fibers that are available to you. There's about five different fibers that we're gonna to discuss today. We've got olefin, which is polypropylene. There's polyester, there's nylon, there's soft nylon, there's smart strand, and then there's the natural fiber wool. Let's start with olefin or polypropylene. It's a very inexpensive fiber to produce, but it has some weak points. For instance, olefin doesn't resist friction very well. It's a low temperature melting point. So you drag something heavy across that uh, olefin and it could leave a mark because the fiber melted a little bit from the friction. It's usually a solution dyed fiber. And what that means is that when they produce the fibers, the color is all the way through the fiber and not just on the outside edge. Perfect example of that we use here is uh, using the phrase, it's like a carrot or it's like a radish. So if a fiber has the color all the way through it and it's solution dyed, then we call it like a carrot. Because if you slice open a carrot, the color goes all the way through. That's typically the two differences between the types of fibers and the way they are colored. Next, there's polyester. Polyester is also a fiber that is affordable to produce. There's no patents on it, so everybody can make uh, the polyester fiber. Polyester has some great qualities to it. The colors are vibrant. It's excellent in kids' bedrooms or a master bedroom because it doesn't get a ton of traffic and it's soft underfoot. Most, if not all, the fibers are a solution dyed. That solution dyed gives a great ability to resist staining. One of the drawbacks though about polyester is that it mats down sooner than other fibers. It's not great in hallways and on stairs, and it's not really good with oil-based stains. Oil-based stains tend to stick to the fibers and it even chemically can bond with that fiber and make that stain stay there permanently. However, it resists fading because of that solution dyed. So polyester is a great fiber and it has a place in your home. The question is, is it right for you? Now let's talk about the new kid on the block. 
It's called Smart Strand or Triexta. So Smart Strand's not a nylon, it's not a polyester. It's kind of in its own category. It is one of those fibers, however, that does, if being green is important to you, it's made from recycled products, which then becomes a Smart Strand. The qualities to Smart Strand are similar to polyester. It's a solution dyed product, but one of its greatest qualities is it's super soft. It's one of the softest fibers out there. It's gonna resist matting down over time. It will be good on stairs and in hallways and high traffic areas. Mohawk, who makes Smart Strand, will warranty this fiber to resist all pet stains. That's all three, feces, throw up, and urine. That's kind of important if you're a pet lover and those of us that love our pets want to have them with us, close to us, but accidents happen. Next, let's talk about nylon. Huge category that nylon is. There's a lot of different types of nylons and they have varying qualities and dependability to them. But overall, nylon is a high quality fiber it's going to resist staining, it's going to resist matting down, and it's gonna be excellent in high traffic areas. So there's two different types of nylons. The majority of nylons fall into the radish category. There is a, a section of nylons that are a solution dyed nylon, and those are best for pets as well. Just like the Smart Strand, it is also warranted for the three pets that we discussed earlier. Every one of those stains can be covered in a solution dyed nylon. And the last category I'm gonna to cover today is wool. Now wool is the original carpet. It's made from sheep and it's made from lamb's wool. Twisted together into a fiber, it accepts color well because it's a natural fiber. When it gets wet, it releases dirt. However, it kind of smells a little bit because of a natural fiber. It's got a little bit of sulfur in it and that's what you smell why it's wet. Important thing about wool is that you really got to make sure you get it dry because it just doesn't handle being wet for a long period of time. Wool is extremely durable and most people that have wool love it. In today's homes, a lot of homes are doing the hard surfaces and all the common areas and they're doing just carpets in the bedrooms. When you do that, you're open to all the fibers that are available to you, even the ones that are low cost, because think about it, a bedroom doesn't get near as much traffic as a hallway, stairs, or a living room, as I spoke before, where the refrigerator is right behind the sofa. Hopefully this information about the different carpet fibers and types is gonna help you in making your decision for the carpet that you're gonna love in your home. Let us know if we can help you out in any way. If you've got questions about all this information that I've covered, please reach out to Boulevard Home Design and Flooring.